Okay, so I thought I would just do a quick video about this um, instead of just writing some documentation. So this is the driver, the DM556 driver. And if you'll notice, uh, these are Euroblock connectors here. Um, and those pull loose. You can, you can pull those out. Uh, so the ones that you have already on your machine are probably okay. I would go through while you've got them loose and take a small screwdriver and just make sure that all these connections right here are tight. Uh, before you plug it into the new one uh, and then of course there's a screw here and a screw here that'll affix it to the frame and then you can just take your harness and plug it right into here it may be a good idea to take your old driver and your new driver make sure you mark them so you know the difference and uh, just compare these just to make sure it's the same part number it should be fine but it's always a good idea just to double check and make sure that these pinouts jive on both of them now the other thing that you need to look at are these dip switches. There's an eight position dip switch here. And all you need to do is take your old driver and make them look the same way on the new driver. And there may be a better picture of the switches. You can tell whether up or down, whether they're on or off. So you just wanna make the uh, selections, the positions of these uh, switches the same on the new one as they are on the old one. Uh, and then you can, of course, you know, mount it with the two screws and then just plug your Euro blocks that are already connected to your machine back into these positions. And, uh, you know, that should be uh, all it takes. Hope that helps. If you have any questions, uh, give us a shout. We'll be glad to help. Thanks.